I do not have my windows up. I'm only going to be on for a few minutes. And now I scared everybody off. Let me see if I can put this back in the holder. Sorry, I can't. I'm holding this by hand. Hold on, everybody. Wanted to just say real quick, we have tonight, and it's been going on every night, thousands and thousands of hummingbirds. They're coming through. I'm going to put this in the holder so you may see it go. No, I can't. My holder is not cooperating with me. It's just hard to hold it. So let me slide it through. It won't slide through. Let me try it this way. It must be the way I'm holding it. Hopefully I won't knock you all off. Where am I going? Hold on. No. All right. I guess I'm going to have to hold it because I can't seem to get my... I'm trying to do this quick because I don't want to stay on long. There are thousands upon thousands of hummingbirds coming. Yeah, I'm just going to hold it. I have a holder, but I can't get it in. Just wanted to say, here we are in the middle of winter. This is Southern California, and I'm going to move slowly. Normally, I open my windows, but I don't want to upset these birds. Hi, E.L. I've got to go into the gardens, but this has been unreal for the past couple days and tonight even more. There is thousands. Hi, Gina. Thousands of hummingbirds that have been coming through. Uh-oh, this one might almost be empty. Here's a little guy here. And they're migrating. Some of them don't know me. That's why I don't want to be on top of the window and I don't want to open the screen. I want to make sure they all get enough to eat before the sun goes down. Oh, this is unbelievable. The sun's going down and they are just frantic. Look at that. And not only that, but I have actually seen them today collecting nesting material. I have seen them do this in January, so it's not that unusual, but they are building nests now. That could be a good thing. The reason it's not real clear the picture, as you can see, I've got the screen down, so I don't have it up. So you are looking through the screen, but I just wanted to kind of share that with you. So no matter where you are, you'll probably start seeing some hummingbirds pretty soon. Now today we were close to 80 degrees and we're supposed to be that way tomorrow as well. I'm not going to have electricity because they're shutting off electricity in my area. They're working on power poles, but the, the so I don't know if I can even do this tomorrow. Depends on if my battery's going. See, if I move, they leave. A lot of these do not know me. And I want to stay back. And then you've got the feeders here. I've got them all over the deck now, feeders. Isn't that something? Look at that. There's so many coming through. I don't want to upset them because I actually want them to fill up for the night. You're 25 in Maryland. Gina, that's why I'm here. That's why I pay high taxes. So when it gets too cold, I go, wait a minute, I pay so much property taxes, you better raise the temperature for me. 33 degrees in central Texas, is that Veron Veronica? Oh my gosh. Miss Sassy, oh my God, isn't that pretty? Let's see if I, I don't wanna upset him. I usually open the window, if it was earlier, I would, I would roll the screen up, but I don't wanna upset him. And I don't want 100 hummingbirds in the house either. Don't kid yourself, they do. <laughs> I have to make sure when I do this that I've got a netting. So you, you know I've built this netting. I can drop the netting, this is here in the kitchen and in the breakfast room area. And then if they come in, they just go out that window. So normally I open both and I'll do that during the day if I come on live. But now that it's nighttime, I don't wanna be chasing hummingbirds around the house in case they got out and I didn't drop the netting down quick enough. Good, I'm glad you can see them. I just hope I'm not shaking the camera because I'm holding it by hand and I'm trying to hold it steady because I can't get it in my holder for some reason. And I don't want to move around too much. So I'm going to stay on for a few minutes. I'm going to go run out in the garden. I told Gary one of his ponds are low. Um, Miss Sassy, if you start seeing them, yes, if you want, if your weather you know, starts to warm up, definitely test it. Put one out and keep an eye on it and see if you see them coming. Because you want to make sure, now let me back up a little bit. I want to lean on the table. Um, you want to make sure that when they come through, that they know you've got food. So this way, when they fly by, they go, oh, there's that feeder and they get the food. Now, if they go to a neighbor's house and they find their food first, they could end up sticking around there if they're diligent and they keep putting food out. It's 
they'll go hunting for feeders if the food runs out. Oh, they were so loud. I was trying to do a video on seeds and they were so loud. I don't know if anybody's gonna be able to hear me. Isn't that amazing? I mean, all these feeders are full. I see that one doesn't have, and that one's not full. The top one's full. Keep in mind, let me back up. I want to whisper, I don't want to yell. Some of the feeders are from Walmart. And if you go back and check the videos out or you're familiar with those, oh good, I'm glad you can hear me because I don't want to, I don't want to scare them. The ones from Walmart that have the little slits, they're double. So they've got, oh, I don't even know, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. They must have 12, 16 seats. So they'll sit really close and feed. So you've got it like, well, we've been cold and hot, but they're coming through. So they'll, and then the, some of the other feeders like this one here, it only has like 10 seats. It is a retreat. It's unreal. Look at that. It got quiet. They just want to sit and eat and they don't want me to bother them. And like I said, if they don't know me and their new ones flying by and they see, I don't want them to get upset by me. They love their dots. You can see them on a dot. And you've got them this side too. And then I've got them on my deck, but I'm not gonna get up. If I get up, they'll all buzz off. You can see the feeder on the bottom there has the single holes. So there's like, I guess there's about 12 of them. I should know this, shouldn't I? And then the one on the top is a Walmart feeder, so there's probably about 24 holes, because it's double. I make the holes bigger, and so they'll sit closer. They're frantic at night to feed. They have to eat before the sun goes down so they can go into that torpid state where they kind of just, it's like a hibernation for the night. See, there's another feeder. You can't even see the other feeder. whisper <laughs> but this has been going on in the morning first thing in the morning a whole bunch come because you got to fill up so they'll sleep in the orange trees spino boli i spino boli hello um they'll sleep in the orange trees and then the, oh, and trees all over and they'll dart over here early in the morning just as the sun comes up and they'll do the same thing and then they're gone most of when i say gone there's like dozens and dozens and dozens all day feeding at the same time. But come nighttime like this time, they come in and I don't want to upset them. Now, if any of them are too upset by me, they can go to the feeder on the deck. But I, when I see hummingbirds collecting sow thistle, the fuzz from the seed, I know they're building a nest. I looked in the orange tree today. I hiked down there and I was looking around to see if I could see a nest in there. I didn't see any. It got quiet. Walmart probably knows me. Maybe they do. I don't know. At least they deliver my groceries good when I want them. In fact, I'm going to order some more hummingbird feeders. Hi, Jackie. So yours are migrating. I don't know if they're going or coming, Jackie. Yeah, you know, the bullies are here too, but at night, they don't bully. They're all social at night, and they all eat. Kinglets. Wow. Cool to get a photo of that. That I, I wanted to get a photo of them collecting sow thistle today, and I did not. Yeah, the sound just got really quiet. Now, I don't know what would happen if I step away because I can see they're still back there. Cambria, wow. Oh, you uploaded, I'll have to take a look at that. Hi, Barbara, see, I'm not staying on. I'm actually getting off. 
My granddaughter came over. She wanted to bake cookies today. Let's go live. I said, no, I need to get stuff done. So maybe another day. You have a conversation with them, Amelia? Ami I oh, 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 oh. I hope I didn't knock you off. I touch something and then something happens. Oh, I was gonna make um, I was gonna make ginger cookies. I'm trying to figure out how uh, my granddaughter doesn't like ginger, so we were gonna make it out of a cake mix and use half ginger and half not. It got quiet. I just want to make sure they all load up. I don't know what would happen if I step away, if more will come back. Because the shy ones do not want to see me, and the ones that are regulars, of course, they don't care. That's right, it is dinner time, and it is last call. See, I was doing a video on seeds, and I thought, you know, I'm just going to turn on the camera. Okay, so yours go away in the summer, in the winter. Yeah, I don't know what state, I forgot what, where you said you were, but they're going to start moving back. See, they're going to move through here. Hello, Alina. They're going to start moving through here. Now, they could stay here for a couple weeks, and that's why I could have like thousands of them at this time. And then what they could do is continue on up north or wherever they're going. Yep, you know what? Most of them are gone. You're going to get to see my messy kitchen. Hold on. Let's see what's going on over here. That's why. No. I want to see if they'll come back through this way. Oklahoma. Okay, you probably won't get them for another month or so. We'll start getting Orioles in the beginning of March. The males will come in first. Okay, I think they're done. The stragglers are now coming in. Ontario. Minus 21. Oh my gosh. Oh, they'll scream. Uh, yeah. It's a, I mean, yes, they do. Yeah, they scream for food. Hello, Ann, Anna. Oh, that's cute, Jackie. That is really cute. Yep. I guess that's it. Let's see over here. Like I said, I don't want to go, to, I want to make sure the stragglers and the last of them come in, even though it's getting dark. It's getting dark. So you'll start getting the root, okay, Crystal, you'll start getting the ruby throated at the end of February. And we don't get ruby throated here. So you're, you're in Alabama. The ruby throated go towards the East Coast. Yeah, we do not get them. Hi, Jess from Melbourne. So it's kind of quiet now. Oh, cool, E.L. Sandra, hello. Okay, so now it's quiet. I'm going to run out in the dark and go check on my garden because we were hot. There's a few that are coming in, but the, the big numbers are gone. These could be the regulars. They know me, and they're just like, oh, she's just talking. There's one on the ice cream feeder. I can't tell you, Spin oh. Oba, Oba, I'm really bad at, I butcher name. I can't tell you exactly when they'll come back, but when your weather is stable, you know, they'll, they, it takes time because they're not just gonna go, oh, we're gonna go to Alabama, let's just fly. They're gonna travel slowly through areas that have food and they're gonna fill up and, and get ready to nest because they'll nest in your area. So it could be, it could be March or April. You'll probably know more than me on that. Kentucky, okay. So, um, You'll know. Yeah, there's only a few left on there. So I just want to, I'll do this again when they come in and maybe I'll get my stand so I have to hold it like this. A big hi from uh, North Carolina. Mel, hi. All right, if I, Shelly, I already said hello to Shelly. I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody because I am going to go take off in the garden before it gets too dark. I don't want to be tripping everywhere. Oh, Sister Carol Ann Clark. Oh, cool. Uh, send May and my... Okay, so you get them in May. See, you know better. Hello, Dingo. 
Dingo Six, Ben. Um, so you know better on when they're going to come to you. If you have me repeat, Walmart. Oh yes, Jackie. Oh yes, I've got them in my cart. I better order them before they run out. I also want to go into Walmart pretty soon. I'm waiting for probably February to see which they get, what the feeders look like in person, and then I'll see. There's some, nobody here. They're all gone. Oh no, there's a couple. There's a couple down there. See, the, the last are coming in. But it's dark. So I'm running out to the garden. And then I'm going to make dinner. I'm late on dinner. Well, it's not too late. We don't change our clocks. My clocks still say 6.30. We just don't change our clocks. It used to upset Gary. I never know when to do anything. And then one day he decided, why should I change my clocks? Unless I'm going somewhere, it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, it's only 5.30. But I'm going to go run out in the garden. I'm going to let the last of the stragglers, the couple few, come in and eat. And I will come back and do this again. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you, Beth. Hello. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye, everybody. I got to get more sugar, too. Oh, no, I am leaving. Bye, everybody. Have a great evening. Bye-bye, Candy.